Hi, my name is Richard Capone, and I'm the CEO of Let's Go Learn. And today I'm going to answer the question of why Let's Go Learn is so diagnostic. So let me use an analogy. If you were to look at a photograph of someone and it was very low resolution and very pixelated, you wouldn't like it because it doesn't give you a clear picture of that person. In testing, the same is true for diagnostic testing of students. When you want to know why is a student struggling or why are they doing well, you need high resolution. You don't want to settle for something that's pixelated, like a screener or something that is uh, just not very detailed. You need granular data so you know, what do I do next? Why exactly are they struggling in this area? Why are they doing well in these areas? And at Let's Go Learn, we are dedicated to making assessments that are very, very detailed and very, very granular. Now, part of the problem also lies in the industry with the test developers. The term diagnostic has become very, very fuzzy, very unclear, because everyone loves to say their test is diagnostic. Well, the reality is diagnostic is really almost a doctor's term. So it needs to really be detailed. When something is diagnostic, it gives you clear direction of what to do. And that's why at Let's Go Learn, we're genuinely diagnostic and our assessments are used for writing IEPs, they're used for pullout programs, they're used in all tiers of RTI, and that's really a big distinction. So that's, in a nutshell, why Let's Go Learn is so diagnostic. Thank you very much.